So if you're fully vaccinated, you don't need to wear a mask outside. So a little semblance of normalcy in the CDC's new guidance they issued today. The top docs say you only need to mask up if you've been vaccinated if you're going to be around a big crowd of strangers outside. So think of something like a concert or a ball game, something like that. The CDC says walking or riding your bike or having small outdoor gatherings with friends and family who are vaccinated, you're safe. You're good to go. But they still say if you haven't gotten your shot, you should still put that mask on when eating outside and attending crowded outdoor events. The upgraded guidelines seem like an incentive to get more of us on board with getting vaccinated. Each week we talk with Dr. Eric Feigelding. He's an epidemiologist with the Federation of American Scientists. He spoke with our Courtney Robinson to provide a sharper insight for us, saying he's glad there's some perks of normalcy here to try and encourage people to get the shot. My worry is a, there are a lot of people who resist, and B, more importantly, it sets up this social expectation of, hey, he and she are able to do that. I want to do that too. If I'm fully vaccinated, should I still be wearing masks? Yes, you should still wear masks. Many studies all show that the virus, uh, although has much lower chance of infecting you, you still can be a fairy. And as a fairy, you can still transmit to others. You mentioned the virus using someone who's vaccinated as a fairy. And I think about children who are unvaccinated because they cannot be vaccinated. By being vaccinated, you reduce the transmission significantly. For a Pfizer Moderna vaccines, it's about 95% if you're double vaccinated uh, with both shots. And that reduces the chance of the virus being able to a meander through all these different people to get to you. And so being having more people vaccinated puts up uh, more fences along the way for the virus um, and more difficult for the virus to pass the person to person. Now, there are leaky fences. They're not perfect. But putting this fence there is a degree of protection. And if enough people can do it, that is what's called vaccine herd immunity, that the chance of the virus hop skipping through the middle of this dance floor to you is very low. That's why the more adults are vaccinated, the less chance the kids will be able to get it, the less chance the kids will be able to pass it between uh, themselves in the classrooms, and the less chance it'll go to another family. We really appreciate Dr. Eric Feigelding for spending some time with us each week to make sure we're educated on this. And he says cloth masks are good at catching your droplets so you protect uh, you protect others from your germs. He says double masks or premium masks like those N95s, they do both. They reduce you spreading germs and the amount of particles that you breathe in as well.